previously in Brotherhood. Which one is that? Wife or mistress? The guy's been married for 30 years. He's had a mistress for 25 of them. Not the same one. Oh, yeah. No, Marty's a loyal guy. Hello, Carl. You're right. I don't love you. I could never love you. Hey. Do you need help? Tommy's not some pawn for you to move around your chessboard. If you harm him. I won't. I'm asking you for a personal favor. Don't fire Bob. I can't. I'm sorry. Freddy, it's me. Surprised? Fuck you, you cocksucker. This was a collection, not a pickup. It's me. I'm not gonna miss the movie. I don't know what that about. I'll be there in 15 minutes. Jordana. Jordana, huh? If I didn't want to be with you, I wouldn't have said yes when you asked, okay? like he's getting taken to the woodshed. Mm. He's just strategizing on the budget. Ah, is that what they're calling it these days? Hello? The governor hates me, Tommy. Yeah, uh, you know, the governor's a Republican. Well, the point is, if I'm gonna pass my budget, I'm gonna need enough votes to override the governor's veto. Votes like Representative Silk down there. I got feelers out to her. No, feelers aren't gonna get the job done, okay? Ever since her husband's restaurant got muscled into using shamrock linens, she thinks all you Irishmen are corrupt. So what do you want me to do? Start eating linguine and pretend I'm Italian? And your brother? He's amigo with shamrocks on him, Mr. Freddy Cork. All right, I'll, I'll do everything I can. You'll get me her vote on the budget. Anonymous. Just like the man. What if somebody recognizes me? Tell me in leadership now? Well, that's why I'm taking you to the meeting in Fall River. Fuck are all these cars going on a goddamn Sunday? I don't know. This giving over to a higher power. I don't know that I know how to do that. What's the matter? Don't you believe in God? I go to church, but. But what? You can tell me. It's part of the theme. You talk. I can't do that. Sure you can. I mean, I'm a freaking idiot, and I can do it. I want to go home. Mrs. Caffey. Please. Listen, this is really, really important to me, OK? A lot of people have helped me get sober. You are the first person I've ever tried to help in my life. Just come to the meeting. I can't. 
can't risk hurting Tommy. Alright. Fuck it. No big deal. Get out of this shit somehow. What the fuck is going on up there? Keep it moving, this way. Go, go. What the hell happened out there? You see that? Is that a bus? Flipped over. Holy shit. What a fucking mess. No wonder the traffic's so bad. What? You thought you could install into that kiosk on lower end? I wouldn't notice. It's not like you have machines in those spots. My boy still was open turf. The lower end is Irish land. Always has been Irish land. And always will be Irish land. According to the 1,000 census, it's actually 37% Dominican. Dominican. You all right? Yeah. Looking for a bump? The fucking bosses are inside. Oh, don't worry about it. There's a white and espresso it should fit right in. With respect. If you don't take those machines out, I'll stick my dick so far up your ass, I'll piss out your mouth. Freddy. You didn't see a thong guy. Yeah. What? Sorry to put you from home. No, a thing like this. You need I'm here. The bus was coming back from a patch game. Passengers all from your neighborhood. 45 on the bus, 11 DOA. We were hoping you could ID the bodies. Yeah, sure. Marty? Marty? Hey! Marty, come here, stand up. You okay? I can't remember what happened. I was looking out the window at the sky, and then... Hey, Marty. Have the EMT seen you, huh? Yeah, they, uh... I'm fine. Leanne's dead. Chuck, you're okay. Let him through. Thanks, Coop. No problem, Tommy. So talk to the EMTs, find out where my sister is. Get a passenger list, check the status, get numbers and addresses for the next weekend. She's fine. Hey, shouldn't you check for internal injury? She had like a thing over. Hey, boss. Careful. Nice shoes. <laughs> I'm taking him for x-rays, but it looks like he suffered a mild concussion and uh, possibly a broken clam. See? I told you I was, I was fine. Oh, you're good. You are good. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Open, open, open. It's Kathleen Clark. Lived up on Avon Street. Chase your boyfriend in the street one night with a car and knife. My girl. Deco. You uh you spare a minute. Yeah, yeah. Who are they? Kathleen Clark, uh, Izzy Jakes, Carl Hobbs, uh, a couple of people that I can't recognize. So I'm gonna get asked a lot of questions by the, the families. They're gonna want to know what happened. I uh a body fell from the overpass. Uh, 
My guys don't want to commit, but it's it's probably a jumper. So the bus swerved. They took out Carl Hobbs' car. But from there, it was, it was pinball. It was a jumper. Well, that's why my guys don't want to commit. Who? Ricky Cork. No, Freddy's kid. Take McGonagall and go to Ricky's apartment. He's got a gray suit in the closet. I want you to bring it down to old man Boyle's funeral. And you tell him my kid gets the fucking best casket he's got in that place. Of course. About the public memorial, I was thinking uh, Thursday, Sacred Heart. It works for the families, yeah. Well, we don't want to let it go past the weekends. I mean, the people need closure. And Tom, <laughs> is it all right if I knock on this door? I mean, we'll trade off. You could do the next one. Thanks. You know there's no way he fell, right? I mean, not that it matters, but... All right, gray suit, black shoes, we'll try the bedroom. You ever think about it? What? <laughs> Killing yourself. No. Really? Yeah. Why? No, I just figured everybody's at least fucking thought about it. I tried once, you know. I was 11. I was in some fucking foster home. The news broke. <laughs> I guess God didn't want me either. Oh, uh, about the shoes, he's got two sizes here. He's got size 8, size 10. Yeah. Because it's got a roommate. No, it's a bit it's a one-bedroom apartment, though. That's right. Two guys. One bed. Oh, fuck me. It's part of the job, and it's just no fun. Look, we can take my car. You guys get in the back. I'll climb in the front. Uh, no, thanks. We're going to walk. We don't want to walk. Yeah, we do. OK, OK, I'll do the man of the people thing, and I'll walk. You don't have to. No, you're going to walk. I got to walk. Nick, get my shoes out of the car. Both is killing me. Did you just give Mrs. Alton some money? I know it's strapped for cash, but it, you know, it was just enough so she could afford a decent burial. Oh, you did the right thing. OK, where to next? Carl Hobbs. He was a postman just around the corner. Okay, Carl Hobbs, Carl Hobbs, Carl Hobbs, Carl Hobbs, Carl Hobbs. I'm gonna get a glass of water. I know you. 
Tom Caffey's wife. <laughs> you know, you'd, uh, you'd think they'd have a corkscrew. You know, I've, I've checked everywhere three times, and I swear, at this point, I am just gonna smash the neck off this bottle. <laughs> I found it. Twice he broke my heart. This crazy little bastard. Carl's mom hates my smoking. We were engaged. I'm so sorry. He broke it off six months ago. Three years and he just broke it off. What happened? Carl didn't say. He made excuses, but uh... They were bullshit. I don't know. Maybe he was uh, seeing someone else. I don't know. I'm so sorry. It's not your fault. We hadn't talked for a while. He was supposed to meet me at the movies. For an hour, I thought he stood me up. You're gonna have one? If I drink alone, I'll be a lush. I loved him more than he loved me. But I always thought we could be real happy. What are these cash was for? Susie Fitzgibbon. I didn't know you two were close. I see her at the salon. The woman's husband died. At least I can do a spare the effort of having to cook a meal. Yeah, okay, all right. Can I borrow three dollars? What for? I was gonna buy some candles to leave at the overpass. What? Cassie, there's still men out there scrubbing blood off the concrete, okay? I think we should all have something a little more productive to do with our lives than standing around in the dark holding fucking candles. That's sweetheart, all. Sweetheart, people died. Not you and not me, but all over this neighborhood. Yeah, I was there, okay? Light a candle for me. Where are you going? Changing the air filter on the Valiant. Hey, good morning, kiddo. How are you doing? Thanks for this. Thanks for seeing me. I'm just gonna get a coffee or something to drink. Yes. Got four lunches. For Tommy. Tommy takes his lunch to work in the back. Every lunch he takes is ten dollars for the college fund. Sorry. Didn't realize things were still so tight. What are you doing? Making a sandwich. Tommy. 
He likes his mayo on both sides. You think it's the first time I made a sandwich for Tommy? If the church says it was an accident, then Ricky could have a proper funeral. We could have a priest at the burial. And no one could say it was anything but an accident. I don't make church policy. Tommy, I'm not asking for a six-foot picture at the public memorial. There's 50000 in that bag. You can offer it up as a donation, keep it. I really don't give a shit. I can't help you. You can talk to the diocese. They'll listen to you. They respect you. You're my goddamn representative, Tommy. I'm sorry. We heard you went around to some of the other families last night. My funeral waited up till 3 o'clock for you to knock at our door. What's the matter, Tommy? You forget where I live? He wanted my help getting a, a church funeral for Ricky. And I told him it wasn't up to me. Tommy, if Freddie was just some store owner, would you have tried to help him then? Ricky didn't mean to crash that bus. Whatever demons drove him to take his own life, he deserves the forgiveness of a decent funeral. State Highway Commissioner and Chief Traffic Engineer are not only examining this tragedy, I have also asked them to deliver a full set of recommendations that will ensure that an incident like this never happens again. This is a time of great status. Diane, the speaker's asked me to talk to you. <laughs> I doubt he used the word talk. He wants to know what it's going to take to get your vote on the budget. He should ask Bob. I was all ready to make a deal with him. Well, the speaker sees the world in black and white. Now, your district receives a lot of state funding. The speaker's liable to pull it if you go against him. You know, same goes for party backing come November. Hmm. Now, there's the commas, Kathy, I know. One part charmer and four parts thug. I'm, um... I'm sorry about the people in your district. Call Bishop Conway's office. Say I'd consider it a gracious favor if you could spare five minutes. Gracious favor? Makes it sound like you're hat in hand. I know you feel about the church, but you're still a bishop. All right. But if this is about Ricky Cork, you should know that he was gay. Scott and I used to see him out at the Downlow Club. So? Means the church didn't much like him on two counts. Do you, uh, do you think Ricky's in heaven, Alex? Yeah, I do. Then shouldn't the church say so? Not if you have to beg. What time did she finally get in? 2.30. I mean, I was awake, but I didn't want to fight with her, so I just played, you know, roll over, played dead. She buy it? No. She didn't want to fight either, so she pretended she did. What, is it closed? Hey! Maybe he's in the back. See, the thing about Cassie is, she doesn't realize 
All the casseroles in the world aren't gonna help a guy like Marty Trio. I mean, the guy's got fucking cancer. He's dying. You know, he's got a wife and a mistress, which is weird, but it's okay. It's the way it is, you know? And the bus crashes. Now, is it Marty with the cancer that dies? No. It's his perfectly healthy wife. So now he's got to bury her. He's got to deal with the mistress, not to mention the pain from the tumor eating away his fucking guts. But there's Cassie sitting out in the dark, huddled around a candle, praying with all her tiny little heart that God in heaven is looking down on her with some almighty plan. When that's fucking bullshit. There's no plan. It's just fucking pain and death, and that's it. And it's fucked and random. You're gonna break the glass. Every fucking Tuesday, we come here for a grinder. It's Tuesday. I want my grinder. Hank! What's Hank's last name? Scully. You got the list on you? Check the list. Fuck. He was on the bus. Yeah. Okay. Tommy Caffey, Prince of the Hill. Excellency. Tell Freddie Cork I said no. You know, it's funny. I didn't realize you were on the overpass the night Ricky fell. Tommy. No, no. If Ricky is going to be denied all absolution, I'm glad there was at least one witness. I don't argue reasonable doubt, Tommy. The church is not a court of law. All the more reason it should be generous with its forgiveness. Or are you punishing the son for the sins of the father? You should have been a Jesuit. What if the church were to receive a generous donation to its charities? I'd say the church doctrine is immutable on the topic of suicide. You have 11 grieving families in your district. You cannot them Catholic. Perhaps you should be tending to their needs. I don't have to. You've already told them their loved ones are in heaven. Hey, how you doing? I appreciate you coming by. Thank you, thank you. Very decent of Mr. Lazzoli to stop by. Italians love a good ritual. Nothing quite like the ritual of mourning. So in what, a week they'll be back at the throat with the carbon knife? Ten days. They have respect. I can't vouch for what kind of shape Freddy's gonna be in. I tell you, this thing's messed him up pretty bad. Well, that's just too bad for you. And you. What were the Asians and Latins beating both the doors down? Never mind those crazy fucking Russians. Costly Irish-Italian thing. It's a softness both up for the competition. Hey, it's out of our hands. I'll tell you what. If you're looking for a square deal, and Freddie continues to be uh, unreasonably distracted. Have Mr. Nazzoli come directly to me. I'm sure I can work something out. I knocked, but no one answered. That's because no one's home. Well, that's funny, because both your cars are here. Is he inside? Not that you would know. And if I asked you, is your bathroom? I tell you that the toilet exploded just this morning. How about a glass of water? Sink exploded, too. Well, then you're in luck, because I'm an excellent plumber. Ah, but you're not union, and we only use union labor. You're very flirty eyes. Listen, I really need to speak to Judd. Help yourself. He'll rip your heart out and throw it in the river. But if you want to charge the den of a raging lion, you really don't know what you did wrong, do you? He wanted a favor, and I said no. He wanted a personal favor. Yeah, but it would have been illogical for me to say yes. Logic is business. He wouldn't have minded if you turned down a business favor. A personal favor? That's not logic. In fact, there's no reason in the world why you should agree to a personal favor. 
That's what makes it personal. I've never seen Jimmy so feisty. Neither is Ma. I swear he wanted me off the couch. You'd think I had two broken ankles instead of a busted clavicle. How's Ma been? Ah, oh, she's herself, you know. I think she's, uh, I think she's stealing from work. I found like 50 pairs of tube socks hidden in the bathroom. Ah, oh, they're probably a gift from Michael. <laughs> God forbid her oldest son should wear the same pair of socks twice. Here, baby. Got you the tasty tangerine. I, uh, I didn't think you like lemon, but I, I put one on the plate just in case. Uh, if you wait a sec, I'll get you honey in a spoon. Oh, you're the only honey I need, baby. Oh, listen to you. <laughs> oh, look, before you two stop making out, I'm gonna be in the kitchen. <laughs> I think your sister looks pale. She was never really that strong. She's a tiger, Ma. She's just like you. <laughs> Are you trying to flatter me or insult me? Actually, I need a favor. Mm -hmm. I need you to talk to Judd Fitzgerald. No. It's important, Ma. I don't really know him that well. Well, that's funny, because he mentions you every time I see him. He does. What? Ma. Ah. That look. It's a face Mary Rose makes every time I accuse her of having a boyfriend, which is interesting considering you barely know the man. Look, I know what you're trying to do so you can knock it off. My God. You two are in love. Tommy! Will you talk to him? If you ever bring up Judd Fitzgerald again, I will put bamboo onto your fingernails. Is that a yes? Think about it. You think those cash rolls down to Susie Fitzgibbon? Mm-hmm. Yeah, come in. I can't find Marty. It's Declan. I'm coming upstairs, okay? Set a date for the big memorial service? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Thursday. Same allergies. That's too bad. Guy says there's an 80% chance of showers on Thursday. My. Vicky's really worried about you. She tried calling. Mm -hmm. She really wants to talk to you. She's downstairs. You know, I kind of. Hope it rains. You know, when the Indian summer hangs around too long, it just makes the winter hotter. 
You doing okay? <laughs> oh, I'm dying. I lost my wife. But other than that, not too bad. I never wanted to choose between Leanne and Vicky. <laughs> I'm get away with that. I should have been a much better person. Well, I always wondered what Leanne's bedroom looked like. Marty? Very petty with Tommy. He's straight. Throw a card. I'm thinking. You don't have gin. If you knock, I'll undercut you. He needs your help with Freddy's boy. Now, you can punish him politically if you like, but on this one thing... Any decision about Ricky Cork belongs to the bishop. Oh, so you're helpless. Yes. Liar. <laughs> could choose not to take that card. Or perhaps you don't really need it. Oh, I need it. But if you asked me to, I could let it pass. That's what's called honoring a friend's request. Which your son did not do. Which you should be wise enough to forgive. Bishop's going to want a donation. Tommy says he can deliver 35 grand. Take the card. Oh, Jim. through. Ricky's gonna get a church funeral, everything. Good. I'm glad I could help. Now if I can just get Father Bill to convince Fiona not to go to the public memorial. That's the last thing I need. People just staring. Freddy, I, if I had a son, I, I I don't know if I'd have your strength, but, and I debated telling you this, and I think it might help. I have an idea why Ricky did what he did. Don't do this, Freddy. It's a mistake. Even Johnny knows it's a mistake. Hey, maybe Freddie will just talk to him. Yeah, right. Would you be willing to take that bet, John?
Have a seat. Sit down. You gonna tell me about my son? What do you want me to tell you? Why don't we start? What color tie I should bury him in? Since you apparently knew him better than I did. I wasn't gonna go to the funeral or to the memorial at Sacred Heart. Ricky wouldn't want me to make this any harder on you and his mom. How long you two been shacked up on my dime, I might add? Five months. You two have fucking AIDS? No. God, no. He... He's been getting better lately. What do you mean, better? You get these black moods. Two years ago, right before we met, he tried to stab himself. He swore he'd never do it again. I made him promise me. They hate me. I'm scared of you. I loved him. I was perfectly fucking clear about that. I loved him. He knew. He just thought that if he came out to you, you'd never forgive him. I wouldn't have cared. He was my son. He could have sucked Elton John's dick on national fucking TV. I wouldn't have cared. I just want him back. I know. I love them too. What the fuck do you know about love? What do you know about love? What the fuck do you know about love? I'll show you love. I'll show you fucking love. So you know that, uh, Frick, frack? Hey, one of the sniffles? Yeah, frack. He sidles up to me. He starts hinting that Nizzoli would be more than happy to have a new trading partner. You fucking said that? Yeah. What is he gonna do? Thinks Freddy's unreliable. Is he wrong? Come on, let's get this done. Can I save a seat for Alex? Alex has issues with the church.
Francis, this is Pete, and John. Frack. All right, Francis is a guy who wears a dress. My mistake. Mr. Lazoli. Nice to see you. Let you and me talk business. I don't want to miss the mass, huh? We have to. For Ricky. Everybody's just gonna stare. They're gonna point their fingers and they're gonna whisper. If we don't go, they're still gonna whisper. Only it won't matter. The church says Ricky's death was an accident, because everyone will say we knew different and that's why we didn't show up. He fucking killed him, Sophia. Our son died by accident. And by going into that church, I am going to prove it. We have five other children that have to live with what happened, who have to go to school and see their friends and live in this town. Trouble with y'all now. Right. Better late than never. Declan. Okay, Joe. I'll do it. I'll give you Freddy Quark. I'll fuck him the plate. Time to 
that you're right with God. It was a nice thing Tommy did. He's a good man. Yeah, he is. Most of the time. I was thinking maybe uh, there's a way you and I could talk in private. Just so that nobody embarrasses Tommy. Fiona in there. I'm grateful. Listen over your left shoulder is Representative Diane Silk and her husband Ken. I want you to go over to Ken and tell him that Shamrock Linens will no longer be servicing his restaurant. And that he's free to get his napkin serviced by a vendor of his choice. Ending fences. You got a budget to pass. Try. 